Between 2019 and 2022, a team of scientists did something extraordinary. They scanned a woman's brain 26 times, before she got pregnant, throughout her pregnancy, and for two years after she gave birth, helping to answer a question that affects 85% of women, but has barely been studied. What actually is baby brain? You lose your train of thought, I do it all the time. Is it fair to say this, because I'm not a mommy, but is it mommy brain? It can be loaded with stereotypes of scattiness and forgetfulness, but scientists have discovered that pregnancy doesn't weaken the brain, it can rewire it, radically, intelligently, and maybe even permanently. So how does pregnancy transform the brain? This is Liz. She's a neuroscientist and mum who had the idea to scan her own brain before, during and after her first pregnancy, something that's never been done before. Liz's brain was first scanned before conception, providing a pre-pregnancy baseline. Then came the changes, all triggered by a huge increase in hormones. It was definitely a strange feeling to see your own brain and see the changes that had occurred um, during this study. In the first trimester, her grey matter began to reduce in certain areas. Located primarily in the outer layers of the brain, known as the cortex, grey matter is packed with neurons that help us process emotions, make decisions, form memories, and read social cues. Basically, it's the brain's thinking part. This might look alarming, but a reduction in grey matter doesn't necessarily mean getting worse. It can mean specialisation. You might hear a decrease in grey matter volume and think this is a negative thing. Laura Pritchett, a cognitive neuroscientist, is fascinated by how ovarian hormones like estrogen and progesterone affect the brain's organisation and functioning. This change could actually indicate a fine-tuning of brain circuits, not unlike what happens to young adults as they transition through puberty and the brain becomes more specialised. It's also likely evidence of an adaptation to meet these physiological demands of pregnancy itself, which showcases just how adaptive the brain can be. This idea is supported by animal studies, which show that pregnancy hormones can rewire circuits involved in caregiving. In humans, we're still piecing that picture together, but the signs point to something similar. The darker the purple, as areas get darker, gray matter volume is decreasing. What we're seeing is neuroplasticity in action, the brain physically reshaping itself to meet new demands. During pregnancy, that's especially dramatic. In the second trimester, Liz's brain's connectivity peaked, as if different regions were talking to each other more efficiently. That's partly thanks to her white matter, which connects all the different regions and helps signals travel faster, becoming denser and more organised. By the third trimester, her cortex, the brain's wrinkly, grey matter-rich outer layer, was thinner than at any other point during the pregnancy. This is different to the grey matter volume loss we mentioned earlier. Cortical thinning is another type of neural refinement. The cortex handles high-level functions – memory, reasoning, empathy and self-control. So thinning here may mean the brain is streamlining itself to focus on what matters most at this new life stage. Scientists believe that these shifts are helping the brain prepare, not just for birth, but for motherhood. You might think the changes stop once the baby's born, but they don't. In fact, the first year postpartum shows continued changes in regions linked to empathy, memory, and emotional regulation. What I tend to say to new moms a lot of the time, and who are saying, I feel like my brain is not functioning, or they say, I have mommy brain, is let's think of it slightly differently. Things are changing and in the brain, anytime something is changing, it's in this sort of moving state. These changes are happening for a reason. Think of it in terms of adaptation. Yes, I may have forgotten where my keys are or what I was saying to you in the middle of a sentence, but I also am simultaneously paying attention to the sleep patterns of an infant, remembering when they ate, how much they ate. That's what these brain changes during pregnancy are likely underlying. This ability to task switch and have a larger cognitive load. What the literature is showing is that all of that is advantageous later on in life. You just have to get through the thick of that. Pregnancy doesn't break the brain, it rewires it. But this is just one story, one brain. And we're only beginning to understand how they change and why. Because for something so common, so profound, the maternal brain has been a scientific blind spot for far too long, that's finally starting to change. That question didn't stop with Liz. 
The Maternal Brain Project is now following more women and their partners so we can begin to map how all kinds of brains respond to the demands of caregiving. The questions that remain, why are some women going on to experience postpartum depression? Why are some women experiencing neurological symptoms like migraines and headaches and epilepsy? Does that change in the brain mean something? And those are the questions we need to ask next.